Hey guys, Most Classic Gamer here with a new Let's Play. And this is going to be Happy Feet for the GameCube. Yes, I'm dead serious. I'm talking about the anime movie that came out five years ago. And this game was released about the same time. Happy Feet uses an auto save feature. Do not touch memory card in slot A or the power button while auto saving. Yes, we've known that since the GameCube came out. is developed by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. I think that's what it's called. And Midway is the are the ones responsible for this game, okay? And so anyways, let's get right into the game. Okay, so I've already kind of planned out this let's play officially. Um this is gonna be ten episodes, okay? No more, no less, hopefully, okay? If ever if all goes right, this will be no more, no less than 10 episodes, okay? So yeah, once again, this is Happy Feet, and uh, we're going to be playing a new game. As you can see, it's a, it shows the main character as a adult right there, and then showed him as a, a childhood, as a, um, in, when it showed the, the, uh, the title screen, or whatever. So, as you can see, um, I have one file here that's 92%, okay? Um, it's kind of complicated how to explain how to get 100% in this game, okay? But we'll we'll eventually get to that, okay? In fact, very, it shouldn't be much longer from now that we should be able to get to the point where I can explain how to get 100% in this game. But basically, let's get right into it. So, whenever you see that memory card, that frozen memory card on the bottom of the screen, that means the game is saving. Not much to be seen. Oh yeah, dancing difficulty, okay? The game just pretty much spoiled that there is going to be dancing. But then again, the game is called Happy Feet, so obviously you can expect to see dancing in this game, alright? So we're going to select hard, just to add some challenge to this Let's Play. In the ancient tradition of the Emperor Penguin, as winter descends, the mothers leave home to search for fish in the deep waters, while the fathers tend their eggs, enduring the long, dark season, and hoping for success. The game does a really good job of following the, li the lifespan of penguins, actually. I used to be a really big fan of penguins. But not all fact, new actually. life springs forth in quite exactly the same way. Memphis, is everything okay? I don't know. I can't hear anything. Is it empty? Wait, I hear something. I hear it too. Well, you can't hope for much. Come on, little one. Break on out of there. I know you can do it. Come on out. If you've seen the movie before, you can probably tell the, that the voice acting is a little bit different. You know, it's not as good as the movie, but still it's pretty good. Okay. Um, right here, we're about to learn how to, to, learn to, keep the how to dance Let's in this game. So as Gloria says, by, by the way, her name is Gloria. She's going to explain here how to how to take on the, the dancing levels. Okay, basically... Um, there's gonna be three kinds of stages, okay? And as you're re as you're listening to me talking here, you can watch what Gloria's doing there because um, actually, no, I don't, I don't think it's the best thing for me to, to talk over Gloria. So why don't we just um, wait for this tutorial to finish up and then I'll explain it a bit more. You can guess what to do with the down pointing arrows. If you miss an arrow, you lose a grace note. Be sure to keep the beat. If you lose all your grace notes. If you haven't learned yet, this game is actually very childish. Actually, it may it may appear childish at first in the beginning. That's why people, I guess, it's why another reason why a lot of people hate this game is because they're so quick to judge when they first start playing the game. Like when they see this a tutorial like that, they're automatically going to assume, okay, so this game assumes that I'm a little kid who's playing this right now. And here we are, okay? So as you can see, this is kind of a Dance Dance Revolution kind of style of dancing. And I already messed up there, but that's okay. So, um, basically whenever the arrows reach the arrows on top of the screen, the moving arrows reach the arrows on top of the screen, you 
hit the control pad in that direction. Not the control stick, the control pad, okay? And this is assuming that you're playing the GameCube version along with me, okay? So yeah, this is basically a dancing level. And as you can see, a number appears every five times, that every five arrows I hit, okay? That's basically my endless streak of arrows that I've that I managed to get without any mistakes. And as you can see, I'm already starting to fail at that. And, uh... <clears throat> So yeah, this is the dancing levels in, in hard difficulty, okay? You can see pretty much just how difficult they can be, but you just wait till later. One thing I should know about dancing levels is that they tend to be more fast-paced whenever you do them in harder difficulty. If you do them easy difficulty, they're gonna go really slowly. Like, as you can see, Mumble is slowly cracking out of the egg, and by the way, the main character's name is Mumble. Um, he's going to be cracking out of the egg a lot faster in hard difficulty mode, but it's going to take a lot longer if you're doing this in easy difficulty, which is what I always used to. So I, oh my god, I'm screwing up here. Okay. Alright. Um, basically, how this Let's Play is going to work, if you play this game before, you know that there are 33 stages in the game. Well, actually, no, if you're... Chances are not a lot of people out there have played this game before because it's extremely underrated. Go to go to IGN.com and see the review of this game, okay? You'll be very, very surprised. If you're if you're a big fan of this game and have never seen a review online, you're gonna be really disappointed when you go to IGN.com and see the review of this game. They give it a 4.5 out of 10. When, now when I saw that review the other day, I was really disappointed, okay? And I don't really want to, but I don't really want to point fingers, so I'm not really going to get any farther than that. I'm just going to say that I was kind of disappointed with the review. Okay, I'm not going to get much farther than that. Oh, God. This is actually my second time playing, the sta playing, the, playing through this game in harder difficulty with the dance stages. So, um, you may notice that I'm not really that good when it comes to doing these things in harder difficulty. I'm probably not going to get gold. You'll see what I'm talking about at the end of the stage here. Okay, I think we reached the end of the level now. You know you reached the end of the stage here when the egg cracks open. Yep, just like that. Mumbles out of the egg and dancing from birth. Hey, come back here! Whoa, little buddy, where are you off to? That's just a little wobbly in the knees, Memphis. Oh, that's all. That's what they always say. You'll, uh, be fine. You just need to get your penguin feet, that's all. That's pretty much how it goes with most parents. Here comes your mama! Say hi to your mama, boy! Hi, mama! I was fishing! Oh, Memphis, he's gorgeous! Boy, what I tell you about them feet? I'm just being happy, Pa. It's the thing about parents that... You know, it takes time to get used to is the fact that... Oh my god, I still got gold. So this is how the game's gonna work from now on, okay? Um... Every time you complete a stage, you'll see a screen like this, okay? And you'll be rated based off your accuracy in the level, okay? And... It... You'll see that there are three kinds of ratings you can get, and the best rating you can get is gold, okay? And the worst you can get is bronze, okay? If you get anything under bronze then you fail the level and you have to start over. But if you get a gold, then you're pretty... Well, actually, if you get at least a bronze, then you're good to go. You can advance to the next level, okay? But if you want to get 100% in this game, you have to get all golds, okay? And whether or not I'm going to get all gold medals, I have no idea, okay? I didn't really make an official goal to get... to get all 33 gold medals of the game. There is something that happens out of getting all gold in the game but it's not really that that big of a deal so it's pretty much it's almost not worth it to get 100% of this game it's more fun just to go through it casually okay so now we have the second stage which is mumble meets his mama okay we're gonna be doing three stages per per episode so and this is the second stage so we got one more stage we can do after this swimming mumble it's what penguins do but i don't know how to swim mama don't worry, Mumble. I'll teach you. Here's one thing about the game I never really understood, okay? And, well, also, mainly just the movie, not the game itself in general, but... 
It's the fact that they're actually having baby chicks swim underwater, okay? Now, in real life, they would freeze to death instantly. They would die if they even touched the water. No, actually, that's kind of... That's kind of exa exaggerating it, but... Still, they... They would die really, really fast. They wouldn't last long in water. Because their baby feathers aren't enough to keep them warm, okay? And that's... It's as simple as that. They shouldn't be swimming until they're adult penguins. But then again, it is a cartoon movie, so you can't really... You can't really blame the creators, okay? They're just... It's a cartoon. They can do whatever the hell they want, okay? I apologize for cussing there. I should be more careful about that since this is somewhat of a childish Let's Play. Well, it it should be because it's a childish game, but nevertheless... You know. So, um, you also... As uh, Mumble's mom is explaining here, you want to avoid... Um... Actually, I don't know if she already said it by now. I, I can't really hear. I'm not really listening to the game as I'm doing this. Mostly because I can't hear it from the Good importer. Good job, Mumble. Now for something a bit more complicated. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble, Ma? Far from it, Mumble. You see this heart? Follow me in the water and try to catch as many as possible. Okay, Ma, let's go! This is going to happen quite often in the game, okay? Whenever you're either in a swimming level or a belly sliding level, which we'll... We'll see a belly sliding level as the, the last level of this episode, but yeah. It's pretty much um, the best thing we can do in this episode is just... Um, we're showing off the three different kinds of stages in this game that you will see from time to time again. And uh, sometimes in a... In water levels like this, or in a belly sledding level, Good, you, got a you will have to collect items in order to to get a rating. Like, um, I think you... I don't know how many hearts you have to get to get a gold here. But I'm usually really good at getting all 50 of them. That's how many there are. We're already halfway done right now, so... This, this level is actually going pretty fast. The game does... It, it is pretty fast at, you know, giving you tutorials and stuff like that, so... That's a good thing about it, and that's, that's one of the reasons why I consider this to be somewhat of an underrated game. Just like Barnyard was when I did that in summer last year. And... Excellent. Yeah, I just... I don't know why... IGN gave this game such a low score. I just... It was pretty much that alone that made me want to do a Let's Play this game, because this game deserves more justice than that. Really, IGN? Is that the best you can give this game a 4.5? Did you even... Did you even play this game? Or was that review based off of what you heard from other gamers who say that they are experienced, but really are just trolls or whatever? I don't know what I'm getting at. Anyways, I got all 50 of them, so that's basically guaranteed a perfect score right there. Outstanding, Mumble. You are one fine swimmer, just like your father. Um, then how come my father isn't teaching me how to swim, huh? I would like to know why, lady. So as you can see, I got gold there. Um, it'll, it'll show you right there that you need at least 35 parts to get a gold, 25 to get a silver, bronze to get, I mean, a 15 to get bronze. Anything under that, you have to start the level over. But seriously, who's not going to get at least 15? It's pretty hard not to get at least 15. Okay, so um, we're going to do one more stage and then we'll end off the first episode here. So. Race Glory to Penguin Elementary, okay? Just... Okay, sorry, I apologize about that. Um... I've got sort of an interruption, someone knocked on my door, so... Okay, I was starting that over. The level actually started as I was talking to the other person, okay? So, sorry about that little interruption there. We better get to school. Um, Miss Viola is waiting. right now. We have to. She's going to teach us all about our heart songs. What's a heart song? Race me to the bottom and you'll find okay, out. Okay, so it looks like we have to. In our very first um, belly slang level, we have to race Gloria down to Penguin and Elementary, and that's pretty much yeah. it. Okay. Um, you have to get. You have to reach the bottom of the hill at a certain time in order to get a gold. I think it was like 250 is what I saw. And that's actually, that's a pretty easy record to beat. 
Also, oh. something I really enjoy is like if you run into the adult penguins, and you like hear them like yelling at you. It's really funny. Also, as, as uh, Gloria is explaining here, you can do tricks, and you can they can press the A button to jump, and then press it again to do tricks in the air. And you have to make sure they have enough um, you have time to finish the trick before you land. It's actually really funny what happens when you, if if you don't finish a trick before you land. This is what happens. I thought that was really, really funny when I was when I was like 11 years old. That's how old I was when I first started playing this game. I really enjoyed it, so I don't understand why other people didn't enjoy this. I just don't get it. This game deserves a lot more justice than it got. Now, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see like a bar, and then you can see a triangle, and then in like a two or a one on there. Um, that tells you your how far you are into the level and how in what place you're at right now so as you can see right now I'm in first place but the game can't decide because Glory is like in the was probably like in the same place as me so that's why and we're already more than halfway through um there will be another we will start off the next episode with another one of these um, belly sledding levels Except it'll, we'll actually be collecting something instead of, you know, racing Gloria. So it'll be somewhat like the, the second level that we just had, except we'll be belly slaying instead of swimming. <clears throat> and also, the belly slaying levels will be a bit, will be explained a bit, a bit, you know, better, I should say, in that next stage where, that we're going to do. But we're already at, almost at the bottom of the hill, and hopefully, Gloria's not going to beat me. Um, I think um, if Gloria beats you, you just have to start over, whether you got a really good time or not. But chances are you won't if Gloria does beat you. So yeah, you you want to just basically beat Gloria. It's pretty much it's pretty much the main goal, main thing you want to worry about is just being Gloria. Chances are if you beat Gloria, you'll get a good time to get gold. And should be at the end right now. I think it's right up here. Yep, there's the end right there. Okay, here we go. You did it! You finished! We did it! Come on, Mumble. Miss Viola is waiting. Mumble sounds like Tommy from Rugrats. It's probably because they used the same actor for, for Mumble as a kid. Okay, so I got 247. I was just thir three seconds off from getting, from getting silver, so that's pretty good. And that's it. So that's all we're gonna. That's gonna be it for episode one of Let's Play Happy Feet. Okay. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this Let's Play. And if you're not, don't despair. It's only ten episodes long. Okay. I promise you that. It shouldn't be any more or less. So if you do enjoy this Let's Play, I promise you it won't be any less than ten episodes. Okay. But whether or not you do, we'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Happy Feet. Okay. So thank you for watching episode one. I'm Multiclass Gamer signing out, and today is it's 9 10 p.m. right now on March 5th, 2012. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.